We all love to listen to our favorite music. Being able to hear the music we love is not something we should ever take for granted. Just how does the music someone plays get turned into music in our ears? To understand how it all works, we first have to understand how sound is made. Sound is made by vibrations. When I plug the string on my violin, the string vibrates and sound is made. All instruments make sound by creating vibrations. Even your voice is made by air moving through vocal folds and vibrating. Low sounds vibrate slowly and high sounds vibrate quickly. This low string on my violin vibrates slowly. If I make it shorter by pushing my finger on a part of it, it will vibrate faster and make a higher sound. But how does that sound get processed in our ears? Our ears stick out of it so they can gather the sound waves. The waves move down the ear canal to the eardrum, causing the eardrum to vibrate. It's kind of like hitting a drum. This vibration moves the three tiny bones in the middle ear. The motion of the bones causes the fluid in the inner ear or cochlea to move. The cochlea looks like a snail shell. Cochlea is Greek for snail. Inside the fluid-filled cochlea are 20 to 30,000 tiny hair cells. These hair cells are of different sizes and they pick up different tones and pitches. The inner ear changes these vibrations into electrical signals. The electronic signals are then carried to the brain, where it is interpreted as the beautiful music we hear. Listen to me play for you. And after a few seconds, put your hands up to your ear like this to gather more of the sound waves. Notice how it changes the volume. Those little hairs get damaged by too much exposure to really loud music, they can break and can't be repaired. Take care of your hearing by avoiding really loud sound and not listening to music too loudly or for too long. Earbuds and headphones are great to use, especially when we want to block everything out and focus on our music. But with all of the vibrations pouring into your ear and nowhere else to go, the cochlea can easily get damaged. If you find yourself turning up the volume more and more, you might be causing some damage to your ears. Many young people are experiencing sound-induced hearing loss that could be prevented. Here are a few tips to protect your ears so you will be able to enjoy your favorite music for years to come.